Hi, I'm Hybri Aris. I overview a majority of the programs and courses that takes place. Basically, we start with uh, life skills. Uh, this is kind of a compulsory course as uh, we kind of want to change the behavioural aspects of the youth before we acquire or give them a certain skill. After that, then they uh, can do entrepreneurship, uh, they can do agricultural or technical skills. The technical skills um, that consist of grass cutting, chainsaw operating, uh, herbicides, uh, all of the like, te yeah, the technical courses, and as well as first aid and health and safety. Basically, help with the unemployment uh, amongst youth, especially. Uh, a lot of kids don't have opportunities to study further because of certain circumstances and that's why we provide certain programs as to uh, give them those uh, possibilities and opportunities uh, to better themselves and better the knowledge and mind and to kind of just uh, create them or um, mold them to be job ready at the end of the day, especially in our low income communities. I tell my uh, students this a lot of the times, I'm like agriculture is basically everything. Basically I love it because it's such a wide field, there's so much job opportunities in it for the educated and the uneducated. So it's just like a broad field that can facilitate so much employment in it itself. It can create young entrepreneurs, young subsistence farmers, uh, foods basically there for food security. Like I said, it's everything. It's your meat that you buy, to the wine that you drink, to the wool jacket that you wear. That's basically agriculture. So I would like the young students to just like see like all the opportunities that they are for you in uh, that program and basically so that they can just like form a business for themselves at the end of the day. Especially um, for me, one of the things is women in agriculture, uh, which through the years have been, uh, women have been neglected in this uh, industry of being looked past. And uh, that is also one of the awarenesses I want to bring uh, with regards to the young women uh, part of the class. Casey is a fairly new uh, NPO uh, with regards to the skills programs. We only started uh, last year, however, 80 of our beneficiaries has graduated with certificates. Uh, they did the life skills, they did the first aid training, they did the technical skills and they did the agriculture. This year again we have at this moment uh, about 50 students uh, in our learnership program and uh, all of them, uh, or 10 of them, will actually receive a chance for permanent employment, uh, which actually makes me as a facilitator happy where your students can actually just reap the benefits at, of the rewards at the end of the day.